Redux interviewing Henry Caldre, former lead guitarist of Rest Among Ruins. Thank you for being here, Henry. You're welcome. So what's been your experience with the Baltimore metal scene? Um, it's been pretty good. Most of the guys are pretty dedicated to metal. Uh, you'll see the same faces at every show. Um, I'd what are say some notable names? Um, notable as bands. As far as bands go, bands, yeah. uh, Anuma Sunbound, um, a Freudian Slip, uh, Bob from DC. Um, I forget the following. There's another one. Uh, some guys that are more like progressive. Might be time columns, I guess. Cool. Do we get expected to see them around Baltimore? Yeah, I mean, they play out probably like once or twice a month, so you see them pretty regularly. So what are some typical venues uh, you'll find um, metalheads around Baltimore attending? Um, probably like the grungy places, like Auto Bar, um, Sonar. Sonar's got three stages in it, so the guys that are kind of um, marking themselves a little better might get main stage, mm -hmm. uh, but more underground guys get the side stage. Right. Um, then a new place kind of opened up called The Quarter, which is right next door to Burton Street. Okay. Um, and there they have like, every Monday all the local fans go there, they just play, and drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so could you just describe your involvement with Rest Among Ruins? Um, basically we were trying to do something a little different than all the other local bands. We tried playing out no more than once every two months. Because um, otherwise you keep saying like the same people, all your friends come, but no word when it gets out. So we want to make sure every show is just like a big bang. Um, trying to just like pack the house as much as possible. And we did that pretty well. Uh, probably had the bigger turnouts from all the local bands in the area. Um, tried releasing songs as often as we could. Um, and like the production value always being like better than the last one for the last one. Right. Um, and, and it did pretty well. So how long were you involved in that project? Uh, probably about three years. Yeah. So um, what, what was... Uh, part of the catalyst that caused you to leave? Uh, well, basically, we had a business plan. Because the main thing that we saw was that other bands in the area were just waiting around to see if they get picked up, somebody hears them, or sending CDs out to record labels. But we kind of noticed that the record industry is falling apart. Mm -hmm. And um, artists like us really don't get signed as often as they used to. No one really comes and scouts for shows. Everything's proactive. So online, you have to have a presence. Right. Um, Periphery, actually, is a band that we were trying to model ourselves after because they would release songs several times a month, even if they're just clips. So people are always checking back up on them. They got buzz all over the world, basically. They it's gave Periphery out. from Baltimore? They're from Bethesda, so nearby. Okay. Um, and the reason why I had to leave, though, was just because we had a business plan and we just wanted to own uh, we started falling back on all the same trends that everybody else was doing. Um, we tried focusing on writing, but you know we had some players that were playing in other bands, and the focus was there. So I figured this is my last year, uh, the timeline basically ran out. So I kind of have to move on. Otherwise, I'm gonna get stuck like the other bands that just play the quarter of Monday and right, stay there. Okay, cool. Well, uh, thank you for speaking with us, and good luck uh, moving through the scene, man. Hi, cool.